Greetings, fellow portal masters. Greetings, fellow portal masters. I am Crash Rouser, and it's once again time to Crash Scouts with another episode of the Honesty I Pair here in the channel. It's episode 129. I'm very excited to bring you another episode of this series, and y'all mean the world to me. Don't ever forget it. 129 episodes. Next episode is going to be 130. Kind of crazy that this is probably the last year of the on half hour. We might we might be missing it by a minute, little bit because you know I'm I'm bad with numbers and counting and all that. But I'm excited to bring you more and more episodes of this series. Who's next, right? Who's it gonna be? Well, first of all, if you don't know, I'm taking every single Skylander ever. So it's a series two, three, four minis and variants, putting them on the portal, playing with them for roughly a half hour with 20 minutes of gameplay, five minutes intro, two an intro, five minutes two an outro, and giving them a definitive rating at the end of 1 to 5. 1 being the worst, 5 being the best. They retired to the shelves behind me here. And I'm playing with them in their designated games. Besides for Spots Adventure characters or Giants, they are going to be playing a Swap Force because my PS3 does not work, and I don't have another way to record with them yet. Yay! In the future, I might look into getting another PS3. As of right now, I'm very poor because I just moved. If you don't, if for some reason you're watching 129, you missed the last five episodes. Go watch those. Jerk. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited to bring you another episode of this series. First of all, you may notice something different. If you do, go back to last week's episode so you can catch up on the fact that I'm using a new portal and a new random name picker. So, go check that out. But if you don't know how to pick a name, it's very simple. What I do is all the scouts haven't had an episode yet, I put away in these tubs. And then all the scouts haven't had an episode yet, I put into a random name picker. So I click to spin, and whatever Skylar comes up, that's the Skylar I'm delegating the half hour to. Again, roughly 20 minutes of gameplay, with 5 minutes dedicated to initial, 5 minutes dedicated to an outro. I'm very excited to bring you another episode of this series. My camera's battery is extremely low, so I'm hoping I get to keep this footage in time. Let's not waste any more time, and click the wheel right now. So after I clicked the last one, it just didn't spin, so I guess for now I'm going to have to refresh the page every time. Bummer. Or I'll just leave it like this, regardless. Ladies and gentlemen, let's flip the wheel and see what we get. Back-to-back -back Imaginators? This is going to be an exciting one. So this is a Skylander I have been waiting a very long time to play. Just like Buckshot not too long ago, this is a Skylander I never gave the full amount of time to. Even though this was the first ever Imaginator I ever played as, even before the game came out. I remember playing him in Toys R Us. I don't remember who the other Skylander was. I think it was Tritip, actually. But yeah, Ambush was the first Imaginator I ever played as, in general. Even before the channel made it was actually i think i just yeah no i just i had the channel for a little while at that time ambush is going to be on the portal we're excited to give him a full try and see what his rating is going to be very excited for this one's making chokes in the background you good she's good let's put him on the portal and get this started All right, ladies and gentlemen, 20 minutes are on the clock. Ambush is up for some honesty. As I mentioned, this is going to be exciting once I hop down this hole. Are we going to Rat Kingdom? I say we do Rat Kingdom this episode. But before we continue... Are of course all natural. But it, it. So yeah, Ambush has a plethora of great attacks. Of course, number one is just a sword swing attack. Second is you knock enemies back and then fly into them. This is one I'm going to have to get a little used to because I'm actually not used to this moveset at all. Um, brief sand deal to charge. Oh yeah, right. And of course, bamboo trees that throw into the air. This is like a big like knock back move where you kind of stand there. This is what I'm gonna have to get used to too. That's why it's one of those moves. This is ambush is one of those characters that I don't really know a lot about because I haven't really given the time of day for it. Hold square to do a flying spin. Whack attacks leave mark on your enemies. On the third mark, the enemy will take extra damage. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I decided to go with the bottom path. I don't know why. I'm not sure. Anyways, I went with this one. Press triangle, then square to send out large band projectiles in two directions. I'm going to have to try to remember these ones. And hold triangle to execute an extra one. And, of course, do 14 victory. All right. So if I stand here still for a little bit, it charges up my sword. So I do the attack move. You can hold down square to do a big jump move, which is pretty sick. Circle, of course, is this. Oh, it's a dash. That's what it is. That's what it is. You can dash towards them and do a big hit. And triangle, of course, does this. You can do triangle with a square move to shoot stuff out, which is kind of sick. If you hold down triangle, it does a bigger range of enemies. Okay, this is something I'm going to have to get used to. It's going to take me a minute or five. 
but we're going to do Rat Kingdom. We're going to go to Rat Kingdom, you know? If you guys don't know, Rat Kingdom is one of my most popular videos of all time. Um, so many people went to this video to try to beat that puzzle. And for a lot of people just went there for the puzzle. And it's called I Hate Rat Kingdom So Much, episode something of my Imaginaries playthrough. Skylander, here's the scoop. This place, Rat City, is crawling with rats. Really? I think not. Yeah. I think it has something to do with a secret treasure buried here long ago. Mm-hmm. My theory is these rats stole the treasure. It's They're literally been like five like years since I played that, that level because I haven't touched Rat Kingdom coming. since. So, I wonder if I can figure out the puzzle <laughs> without having to watch my own tutorial. That would be very ironic. Rats can't hide really well. I owned rats before, so I can tell you that they uh, they can hide pretty well. And smackadoo. And smackadoo. And... Ooh, a 70 attack? Okay. Hmm. 70 multiple attack when I just do the same thing without holding it down. Okay, strange. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. I like that. Okay. So the uh, arboreal upheaval, I think is what it's called, that did, did a little bit of damage. Watch this. Ready? That's not too bad. Oh, he's doing some pretty good damage right now. That's why I'm not really saying it. I'm just focusing on his moves to see what I can do and what I can't do. Why does this guy have grass on him? Oh, that's how he gets marked. That's what happened earlier when it, that I was reading the thing and it said it got marked. That's what that means. All right, is this, I think that's the puzzle, isn't it? Let's just wait. Let's go back to it. Let's come back to that one. <laughs> if that's the puzzle. Let's come back to it. Uh, yeah. Oh, you actually can't destroy that one. You actually have to fight it. Oh my gosh, okay. Nice. Let's get him, let's get him, let's get him, let's get him. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> then the rats just made the whole thing up? Maybe. Yeah, I can leave anytime. So if I can't beat the thing, I can just leave. So. Because you actually don't need to. No! Oh, I fell. Oh, well, that's fine. I actually fell. It was kind of a bummer then. So they get marked if you don't kill them right away by the looks of it. Oh. Okay, I'm locked up there. Yeah, this one does. Oh, they get marked if you don't kill them right away. And then you can do extra damage in the future. Okay, okay. Takes a minute or two to remember some of these things. Because, again, I, again, I don't I really play it as Ambush. I think the last time I played as Ambush was... Um, geez, I actually don't remember. Because I was going to say for um, Skylar Survivor, but he wasn't in Skylar Survivor, was he? Was Ambush in Skylar Survivor? I don't remember. Oh well, that's fine. Pew! There, now I can jump across this part. Rat Kingdom is a puzzle, bro. Rat Kingdom is a puzzle. It's puzzling. That's why a lot of people don't like Rat Kingdom, because it's super puzzling. I don't like Rat Kingdom that much. Go jump, and we jump, and we jump. And we jump, and we jump, and we can... Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Come on, you. I think this door opens the one that's right, that one right there beside the uh, pitcher, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember this one at all, but we're going to Rat Kingdom today, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't think I'd be doing this for this episode. <laughs> but this is a good way to test it out. It'll also get me... Th oh, so it also opens up that one. It opens up that one there. Whoa, who indeed. Oh, oh, I totally fell off that time. I'm okay with that, though. Bam. I don't think there's a way to, like, speedrun this episode. You can't really... Can you speedrun Rat Kingdom? That one person who did it. Yeah, I did it on Nightmare Mode. By playing as just, uh, Nightmare, actually. Yeah. Level 1 Nightmare. 
Well, that was that was worth it. <laughs> right, let's go to this puzzle. Let's go to the puzzle. Let's bring back some haunting memories to you guys today. <laughs> I mean, it's already happened to me, so I mean, you guys have to also. Okay, he's dead. Come on, we can do this. Oh my god. Wow. Was that was that the puzzle? Was that the one? Was that the puzzle that I had so many difficulties with? There's got to be another one. There's no way I just beat that so smoothly like that. If I did, then I just became the greatest Skylander player of all time. I don't care what anyone says. I'm literally the greatest now. I'm the greatest Skylander player of all time. If that will if I just did that first attempt really. After all these years. There's no way. That couldn't have been it. No way. I'm actually like mad now about by myself for getting that right away. That couldn't have been the puzzle. There had to be another one. There's gotta be another one. Anyways, okay, let's um Let's go into one of these side areas now to see if there's another puzzle. Because if there is, then that's totally what it is. Oh, there's... Uh, <laughs> I think this is it. There's another puzzle in here. That's the one. Upheaval's actually helped me out a little bit, especially when it comes to these dudes here, right? There's nothing over there. Is there anything in this spot? Can, is there any way I can look around there to see if this is actually worth it? There's something in there, but I think it's just... um. Imagine a crystal. Let's let's do let's do it. Let's go for it anyways. I think this is it. I think this is the one. Nope, nope, nope. This is it. Yeah, this is this is the hard one. Oh, I got myself stuck, don't I? Yeah, I got myself stuck. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. This is the puzzle. This is the puzzle. I just had like Vietnam flashbacks just then. Okay, we got that part easy. I got myself stuck. Because he goes a tiny bit faster than me. The gems keep reappearing, don't they? Yeah. I did it again. <laughs> oh my god, this puzzle. Oh, I'm having flashbacks. I'm having flashbacks to the old place trying to film this episode and the whole time just me going, are you serious? What is going on? And all the editing I had to do, I just killed myself. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in here. You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm backing out. I'm backing out. 
I don't think there's any actually in here. I'm not doing it. No, that's the part. That's the one. The other one, I was just like, there's no way I just got that super easy. It was too easy, right? It was wrong. It was so easy, it was wrong. <laughs> and it was incorrect. Try again. I gotta keep up. Oh, oh. Arboreal people. And Smackadoo. We got a key. Oh, 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 hello. How are you guys doing? Boom, 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 boom. Where's the, where's the key to? Oh, I remember where it is now, okay. Go back, go back, go back. Yep, bam, bam. I'll beat Rat Kingdom someday. I forgot I can do this to kind of do me a little bit of a speed boost. <laughs> Please let this be the treasure so I beat Rat Kingdom. There's a Maginate, Chris, a Maginate chest over there. I can see it in there. Oh, God. Oh, no. This ain't the one, but it's still probably going to be bad enough. Oh, God. Oh, wait, there's no um, bad guy here. Okay. Okay, they're all destroyed, so now I just gotta clear them. There we go. Okay. <laughs> See, why couldn't they all be like that instead of that one random one, right? Oh my gosh. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Shing. Is that the, was that the treasure? Please let that be the treasure. It was ultimate. Dragon staff. <gasps> it is! That was all I needed. That thing almost killed me. I found the rat treasure. That means I can leave now. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh my gosh. How much time do we have left? Five minutes. Where's he at? Where's he to? I just want to leave. I got five minutes left. I'm almost dead. I am. But you're not, right? I'm a rat. <laughs> yes, we're exiting the Rat Kingdom. We found the treasure. We didn't have to do that puzzle. That's when I thought, I'm like, I don't think I have to do this puzzle because that's why I tried to look behind. I think there was an Imaginate chest back there, but I don't need that Imaginate chest. Maybe there's two. There's two treasures. This is how you get out of here, by the way. Bam. Oh, wait, the book. I haven't. I actually haven't been to Rat Kingdom in this in this game. It was only in a. It was only my PlayStation, my PlayStation 3 version. Ooh, what this? I got a couple chests open. Let's open them real quick. We play with ambush enough, so if I kind of just slack off here for the end, that's fine. Come on, let's finish the squid set. Bus just went by. Hi, bus. Bye, bus. Double mallow. That's a cool one. They're on fire. Spicy. Steampunk hat. Nice. Go to the store. Who actually spent more money on this game? Who was like, hey, I can't find all these magic chests. I'm going to spend money, more money on the game. I bought Imaginate Chest, the little actual chest itself. I think I only bought, like, maybe one or two. And then I realized it's completely random, so it doesn't matter anyways. I, see you found one of those weird super heavy books, I did. I had to talk to Hugo. To Hugo. He lives for that stuff. Okay, nerd. Anyways. Oh, I'm glitching out a little bit. Don't know if you noticed the flame frame rate started dropping. So many books returned, so many rewards for you. How many books did I find? Did I find more than one book? Did I have another book and didn't realize it? I probably did. Set <gasps> Steampunk set done. Nice. Oh no, that was just the book. Okay. 
I just had another one. Exit the academy, yeah. How much time I got left? Let's see. We have three minutes. Bloop, 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 bloop. Three minutes. We got it. We got enough for one brain mission, I think. There's an interesting little predicament. Yeah. What do you got next? There are other worlds, though. Oh, there's. They're both up top. Aren't they? Are they both up top? Which was this one? Oh, God. I don't remember which is which. Okay, we're going up to this one then. I don't remember which this one is. This is the... Oh, this is the plain one. Okay, we'll just... No, we'll fight this guy. Surprise. <laughs> I was going to, uh... I haven't done this combo a lot. 70-70. Okay, it's not horrible. I gotta, hold... I gotta press triangle and then hold square. Square, isn't it? Ah, yes, there it is. Okay. Oh god! Hey, oh, got you. Yeah, here we go. I'm using this combo move just to do something crazy here. Is that it? No. Oh, we got more. We got more. I did it! Huzzah for the Skylander! And hey, there's baddies left in us for a bear you might be interested in. I'm sorry, I really butchered that one. Y'all are probably just like, Crash, come on, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I butchered that one. I think that's gonna do it. I'm just gonna turn the timer off there now. Boop, boop. You only got a minute left, so that's probably fine. So we're gonna cut to just my face now in a moment and discuss Ambush. Um, I think I gave him a pretty good, decent run for his actual moves, which is the biggest part about it. Um, so yeah, hopefully I did him justice, but we will cut to just my face once I land here now. And discuss Ambush. So Ambush, I said numerous times, is one of those Skylanders where I needed to give that second chance to. I needed, like, the, um the actual chance to sit down and play with him for a full half hour to give him the fair rating because if you look at the sensei ranked he deserved way better a lot of people agreed there now overall compared to other skylanders i think he does have a little bit of things where i don't feel me using him as much as say other ones but his moveset was pretty fun i did enjoy doing the blade move the swipe move is always fun just being a regular sword sword wielder he was pretty decent it was a good attacking move the holding and square move did help a little bit but not compared to just you know just doing a regular smack move so that was all right um the dashing move with that little spin at the end is okay i don't see i didn't really see me using that i kind of just used it because i wanted to do all of his moves to see what it was like that was fine just realized i didn't do his sky chi oops sorry about that um we'll skip past that then um and his last move with the um arboreal upheaval i did that one a lot more because that's a move i never used with him at all but once i seen the the use of it it actually does work in crowded areas but in big battles it might be a little bit harder to use i can use kind of pressing triangle quick but holding it down is gonna be a little bit more of an issue it's like i guess i can set myself up to use it so if i know enemies are coming i can kind of get ready with that and hold it down and then when they come up i can hit them so Again, there's little bits and pieces that could be could be improved with if I went with another area, like if I chose like the top pass but the bottom one. But I think overall he's pretty good. I am going to give him a 4 out of 5, however. I don't think his moveset is perfect, and there's little things that could have made it better. Um, I did enjoy playing as him, though. That's the biggest thing about him. I enjoyed playing as Ambush, and I feel like I'm going to play with him again in the future, and I will enjoy every second to play as it. So let me know in the comments below if you guys like Ambush and what you would rate him out of 5. Of course, if this is your favorite Skylander, you got to let me know, too, because I always want to make sure I'm using your favorite Skylander in the best potential I can. Like I did Free Range not too long ago, a lot of people were really excited about that episode, and I thank you all for respecting me in that one. Thank you so much for watching. Come back next week for another awesome episode of this series, episode 130 next week. So it's going to be pretty exciting. But as always, I bid you farewell.